you guys can hear me, these tires are loud. But yeah, it's gonna be one of the coolest things, guys. And I know a lot of you guys might not know what snow feels like or the experience with snow. And I must say, it's a lot different and it's gonna be crazy. I don't know if you guys knows, but the new 2018 F-150 came out, and I must say the new front ends, I honestly really like them. They've changed them a little bit. It's crazy that they had changed them already, but I actually do think they look pretty awesome. Rolling up here to the sheets, and I found this car here. They were definitely going for the rustic look. And there is the Schaffner. So I was able to talk to Andy and they were working on the Trans Am there at the time. He was on the move because he had to get down to the dyno or something like that. I wasn't there for that long. He was really on the move and stuff wasn't going right. The shop down the street didn't have the parts and stuff. So he ended up just leaving. But I didn't get the film or anything, of course. And I will. We're going to get these puppies put on. We talked about that. I'm going to be dropping it off here within the next few days. So definitely check in for that because I'm going to be heading down and it's going to be pretty awesome. And then after that, I talked about the plans for the Cummins about wheels and tires, exhaust, turbo swap. We all going down here and I hope you guys are, are ready for this. It's going to be awesome. Both trucks are going to be built up. Holy crap. But yeah, we're making happen on the channel so definitely subscribe if you haven't already and now we're heading back go all the news we need and I'm gonna bring you guys along when it comes time to get these put on and that was actually the first time I ever met Andy before I've seen him in the videos because I do watch all the 717 content and stuff like that but I've never actually met him in person and I must say he's like how he is in the videos a real nice guy I met Max the other day whenever I found out that Andy wasn't there share this with all your friends it's finally time, just been saving up the money and waiting for the right time and everything, but it's finally happening now, and I'm glad it really is. So for all you guys, I don't know how you wouldn't, but for all you guys who don't know who Andy is or Diablo Formula Racing, well, that is a team that works on all the cars around the 717 area, at least all the fast ones, the ones you see on channels like Street Speed and Guitar Mageddon ZL1. All the work gets done down there, and it's a pretty cool place. When it was actually quite funny, because I was like, hey man, I'm a big fan of the channel and everything. He was like, oh, me too. Back there in the box is the suspension upgrade for the Silverado here, the gasser. But we're going to be doing the big mods on the Cummins. So we're just heading back here, and I'll give you guys an update once we get back. And there we go. Should I be putting in work to Duramax? 2500 HD, who knows? Just made it to Elizabethtown, and look at that behind us. Wow, amazing. Man, the truck is too top heavy, holy crap. Yeah, somewhere I made a wrong turn, and I ended up in a very bad looking area. I'm gonna have to get out of here. I don't know where to go, man. Oh, there isn't even a window in there. Oh my gosh, what? So I guess I'll give you guys some real cool content here. We're pulling up to Lawrence, I mean, Sutliff, Sutliff Chevrolet. And that's cool Colorado. I'm gonna just do a little update for you guys on what the newest trucks look like. And the ones that I like and stuff like that. That one's actually pretty cool. But yeah, I'm trying to look for the D-Maxes. I know they have some of them back here. They always have a large inventory. Definitely loving those C7s. Now this is what I'm talking about. Let's get on out of here. Alright man, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Some one of these options here. I don't think this is a dirty max. What? I just had to walk down like two feet. There's the Silverado and we got a nice dirty max right here. Just look at this truck, man. Change up the whole front end geometry of the suspension and they want what do we got here? 67,000 67, for a 2018 Silverado 2500 four wheel drive LTZ crew cab. So we got the biggest package here. Gotta love the huge exhaust tip on these trucks. Spray and bed liner, of course, of course. Probably from the factory. I love how they do that now. And yep, we got 20s on here. And I'm thinking these are probably 33s as well. Look at the interior of these trucks, man. Oh my gosh. Just live in these trucks. 
Well, I mean, it's basically buying a $70,000 home. If I was to buy a brand new truck right now, a brand new diesel truck, it most likely would be a Duramax. Oh man, I actually can't make the decision. I love the new look of the new power strokes and I love the Ram. Well, of course, I've always loved the Ford Gen body style. I got one myself. Here it is, the L5P hood. I just, oh my gosh, the scoop on that. I just love it so much. Oh, there's just so much about this that I love. You would think that they would do HIDs down here, but I guess not. This, it looks so good. What I would do to have one of these trucks, I mean, oh my gosh, it's just ridiculous, but of course we got the Chevy right here. Here's the thing, I don't think I could ever let that Chevy go. That's the thing. If someone did a straight up trade, I mean, <sighs> might have to do it, but I couldn't just get rid of that truck. I would just have to have two Chevys. Two Chevys on the channel, how about that? Two Chevys, never been done before in the 717 area, how's it? Loving this red one here, I actually really like that red color. Got another black one. This one's color matched. Definitely loving the color match. I'm glad that Chevy started color matching like this. Now, if I were to design one myself, which I most likely would, I probably would go with the color match front end, something like this. May even go as far as color matching the grill. But this is amazing. I would need those cab lights on the top. That is a must because if you want to install cab lights yourself, you're going to be paying $350, somewhere around that amount of money to get those installed. And it's not easy. Oh, this one's a high country edition as well. High Country Edition Duramax. Oh, wow. Look at the wood trim on there. Nice white stitching on the brown leather seats. Got all these features in these new trucks now. And even the back, there is so much room. So I know on the 2017 DF tank, yep. Look how low that sits. Lowest point of the truck is the emissions, of course. Definitely would need to delete that as soon as I got the truck. Or the warranty, of course, but gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm actually gonna dig deep into here. We got 373 gear ratio, perfect gear ratio for 35s. Probably would change that for 40s. And of course you got your 6.6 V8 turbo with an Allison six speed, so the best transmission you can get at for a truck. And they want $69,100. That is very expensive. Look how many outlets there are. Gee, look. So I'm not noticing a moonroof on these trucks. Which one of these has the moonroof? None of them. Wait, wait, is that my truck? No way, no way. We're twinning it out here. That is the chrome version of my truck. And wait a minute, but this is definitely a 1500 truck. Kind of makes it look like a Raptor from the side. If you look at it from the side, Raptor hood, or I may be going crazy, but those are some very chrome wheels on it. Kind of like the hood on that. You know, if you guys think I should get that on my truck here, really would beef up the front end. And for you guys who don't know, my brush guard actually used to be chrome just like that one. So that's what it used to look like on the truck. And I also used to have chrome wheels. Check out those old videos if you want to see what my truck used to look like. Little stubby over here. Well, we got to head back because I have a meeting to attend to. Got to get home. Look at the wing on it. Oh, look at that one. It's lifted and everything. If only I had the time. Look at the hood vents on that. Thing is sick. Got a stance power stroke. Holy crap, that thing has been damaged. We got her hooked on Cummins. Did you see that? Look what it says on the side of there. There is a little wobbly in there. It's really not holding on at all. And I think it's because, well, it was slammed down at some point. And it wasn't her fault, so it's whatever. And now it makes it hot to put down my camera. See, I can just set it right in there. It's awesome. All right, guys, my meeting is over. Now I gotta head home and get the Silverado to head up the mountain. It's freezing outside, so let's do this. 